Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Star Wars The Clone Wars. Last time on uh, Intrigue, Blame, Guilt, Fugitive, Homage. Yes. Uh, Ahsoka. Ahsoka's on the run. I don't run. care. Yeah, I think that arc's over. That's, that's, that's true, Aaron. Everything got resolved at the end. No. Nope. Back to status quo, right? Probably. What is the status quo these days? We don't know. <laughs> uh, we are slowly creeping our way up to episode three, Revenge of the Sith, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of interesting threads to be pulled. Yeah, uh, we had, especially uh, the uh, the Jedi are not to be trusted yeah. thread. Haven't we been slowly creeping our way to episode three this entire time? Yeah, but now it's real close. Real oh, close. It's um, like two seasons. It's not so slow anymore. And uh, let's see, last episode we had Tarkin in here being like, you know what, these Jedi, I don't know what they're doing. I'm gonna be doing some stuff. So we got him in there. We got uh, uh, Commander Fox and Anakin, who seems conflicted. Die. A lot of interesting things. What do you guys think happens next? I think that everything goes back to normal and everyone's happy and everything's fine. Status quo. I Status think quo. It's everything that Rick said is wrong. <laughs> I do not believe that Ahsoka could have fallen so far. The beliefs of the Jedi Council are irrelevant. We deal strictly in facts and evidence, and the evidence points to Padawan Tano being guilty of the attack on the temple and the murder of the Republic officers. This is sedition. Master Skywalker and Master Plo Koon. Yes. The clones, you will go. The ones who care about I her the most. It would be With best if clones? Skywalker stayed here. He's emotionally tied to her. Probably too emotional to do what needs to be done. I'd rather capture Ahsoka and find out the truth and let her run because of a lie. You must prove to us that you will stay focused. Can you? I've already alerted security on the lower levels to be on the lookout for Ahsoka. There was a uh, game being developed called 1313 before the Disney buyout. Yep. This takes place on 1314. Oh. <laughs> nice. So this is what that game would have looked like. I love the upside down uh, city on top of this level. Yeah. They gotta stack them somehow. Yeah. It's not safe for you to call me using the Jedi Communicator. Find another way to contact me. I will. In the meantime, I'll do some digging and see if I can find anything out to help you on my end. What's her Thank name? Thank you, Barris. Barris Offie. Thank you, Show. <laughs> you Love the light changes. Yeah. It's under yeah. a neon sign. That's the by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it. What do you want? It's a good, good look. The cloak works too because of her, uh, her pointy things. She got so lucky there was a good test. I wonder if he did that or if they added that in. <laughs> it sounded like he did it. I think he did it. How would you act like that? Brain exposed. Oh, good luck. Down. Seems like a terrible design flaw. It was cheap. <laughs> oh, no. Child! Don't worry, little guy. I'll get us out of this. There. Got it. Here's the stop button, you fool. <laughs> Gloomy <laughs> now. I uh, guess I'm not exactly on my game these days. Put that hood back up. There you go. Good thing that kid's mom right there. <laughs> right? Could have been any. Hmm. Is that Ventress? Side. Ventress! Sure is! Well, well. I wrote it down. That when I first heard it, but I guess it's true. The Senate has put a bounty on your horned little head. He is a dying. <laughs> 
And I'm going to be the one who collects. So what are you now? A bounty hunter? Yes. And someone who knows how to make easy money. The picture's right up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want that poster, that'd be cool. That would be cool. If you help me, I'll speak to the council and the senate on your behalf. I'll get you a full pardon for your crimes. You have my attention. But I'm going to go where the tide flows. If the tide is flowing against you, don't think I'll forget about the bounty on your head. I'm not sure what kind of fool Ahsoka has. Better be chased by Vader. <laughs> it's not a good look. Why would she stop him? It's so good to see you, Ahsoka. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. If you consider Anakin and a hundred clones on my tail a good space to be in. Star Wars porn! Once or twice, yeah. Where are you? I can't say, Barris. I believe I found a clue. Fine. I'm on level 1312. Get that hood up. A hollow booth the color of 12th and G. Got it. Oh, thank you, Barris. Be careful, Ahsoka. I think I have a lead. Listen to me. I don't want to fight. I, I do. do. <laughs> <laughs> Commander. Maybe you should be using this gun right now. Yep. Should have used it before you announced your presence. <laughs> no one is gonna get her. That guy was trying to hit her with his gun. <laughs> he was the only one left up. Didn't kill one. That's where you're supposed to find this clue. Speaking of Terminator, it looks nice. Yeah, it looks like a place that's meant to be lowered into magma. Yeah. I've done my part of the bargain, which means you're on your own from here. But don't forget, you have to speak on my behalf now. That was the deal. Agreed. Thanks for getting me this far, at least. I thought we decided we were going to part ways. It's a joke, man. <laughs> Ahsoka. Ah. <laughs> Someone like Donkey Kong. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah. Jump man. If you 
fighting an enemy, never throw them down where they drop their weapon. Nanotroids? No place to be discovered. No. Wolf, let me explain. Wolf knows what he's doing. Yep. No pause. Yes, Master Yoda. Without incident? No. She was subdued by the clones and found in possession of explosive nanodroids. It still doesn't explain Ventress's involvement. We saw her with Ahsoka. We're bringing her back to the temple. Let's just hope we can keep her here. <laughs> I don't think Tarkin wants her at the temple, though. Nope. Have to let that stand. It's a Republic matter. Can't be dealt with internally. <clears throat> that was wrong. You were wrong? Yeah. Status quo? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's not looking good for little Soka. Doesn't look good, but helps explain um, Anakin's actions in Episode 3. Because yeah. if his um, apprentice can betray him and... Yeah his ideals, then maybe his master can too. Yeah, they, they in episode three specifically they talk about how the council and Anakin just they don't get along, they doesn't they don't trust each other. Specifically the council doesn't trust him. Specifically Mace Windu. Mace Windu. <laughs> and I love that Obi Wan straight up called him foolish. <laughs> you know? He said it in a nice way, but he's like, I think it would be foolish to remove Anakin from this and that was Mace's idea. <laughs> uh yeah. Um the yeah the wars changed the Jedi? A little bit. And a little bit. Strange times. You know, like, I, I just love, like, especially when the council is delivered, delivering. How do you say it? Deliberating. deliberating. Yep. Uh, it's, you know, it's like stormy and it's like that shroud of the dark side is all over everybody, you know? I love it. It's like when you're telling a horror story in a big abandoned mansion and you get to the crescendo of the story, lightning yeah. flashes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So who is this new Sith? I assume it's a Sith. Mm -hmm. It reminded me of... Um, it's Barris. It's Barris? I think it's Barris. Oh, it could be. Mm, how'd she get the info? How'd she know about the... Could be. She, her, her design reminded me of um, one of the people from Jedi Fallen Order, actually. Yeah, the... Uh, the Seventh Sister. Not Nice Sister, Seventh Sister. Yeah. yeah, the Inquisitor. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Interesting speculation. I mean, yeah, who, I mean... Um, uh, who, who is Barris an apprentice of? Luminara. Luminara? Yeah. The uh, library lady. No, that's... No, uh, no. no, Luminara is a Miralon, I believe. Oh, okay. They're, she's like What's the green the... Uh, with the, like, the black tattoo. Jocasta Nu. Jocasta Nu, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, she's yeah. the older woman. Uh, no, yeah. Luminara, I think, is on the council at this Unduly. point. Unduly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think she's on the council. Well, she was on the council in episode two, wasn't she? Ahsoka is being unduly convicted. Yeah. Convicted? I mean, there's well, a lot of evidence. I mean, Tarkin has is, is yeah. pretty much made his mind up. <laughs> I mean, he said in this one that the you know it, she mind-tricked and it was her who killed... It's, it's all circumstantial, but he's sure. attributing it to her. Well, yeah, but, I mean, he's the prosecutor in this case. He's like, got video evidence... And the her, investigator. He's got video evidence of her choking out, using the Force, uh, their only, you know, link. There's the one clone who caught her over the bodies of the others when he was yeah. escaping. Fox found her. Then uh, you had the clones chasing her down and finding, in the path that she was running... Slice down. She's dead with a known war criminal and suspected Sith, Sith Lord, Asaz Ventress, and she's found with the explosives. With the explosives. And it's she pretty, did beat up those clones. It's pretty convincing. Yeah. She didn't kill anyone, though. Her yeah. or Ventress, you know? And also, it is suspicious that they would find her without her lightsaber. Mm -hmm. So, like, that speaks to her story a little of, like, well, this crazy girl just came and fought me, and it's not my fault. How do you feel Anakin is at the end of the episode? Like, he's like, still doesn't believe, or what do you guys think? I think he's like coming to the realization, he's like, well, maybe I was wrong. Yeah. Maybe maybe I was the fool, and maybe I am too close. I think he's doubting. I, I don't think he's fully one way or another. I don't think he's fully moment. like, oh shit, she definitely did it. But he's like, 
maybe my beliefs were too strongly held by my emotions. Mm -hmm. Well, you get the line, too, of, like... He's going to need to go to the um, Emperor and see how he feels. Palpatine. Because that's yeah. usually what determines how he feels. Especially whenever it's the Jedi Council that's making him pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was interesting that the Jedi still chose to send the two Jedi that are probably most the closest care to about her. You know, Obi-Wan, of course, too, as well, but Anakin and Plo Plo being the one that found her and brought her in. But also, Obi-Wan wasn't there. Yeah. Sure. And it was Yoda who said, you two go. Yeah. Um, Which, it worked out. Yeah. I love uh, Dave Filoni's character in this. The goat? The goat. I think it's called Gotaz or something like that. I'm not sure, but it's uh, it appears in episode four. But I just love the... They just went straight up with the voice. Because <laughs> I don't think we've ever heard him uh, talk before. I think in episode four, it's the sound you hear. They go, <laughs> like, it makes that yeah, kind of maybe, noise. Yeah. But you don't actually... You're not, you're not hearing words. Yeah. yeah. You know, no, they're yeah. not going, get me out, Dre. Yeah. You know? I just this, love... What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I just love all the set pieces in this episode, like it's the train sequence and great. Just how Coruscant feels like a city of trillions, you know? Yeah. And uh, I don't know, just that it was one like shot. New York. That one, yeah, that well, that one shot <laughs> that, when they're on thirteen twelve, and it's two skylines facing each other. I really yeah. like that. It feels like Midgard in Five Fantasy Seven. Yeah. Like. All right, so with you two, all right. I haven't thought about this for a while, but I haven't heard Ventress's theme song in a long time. It's kind of like that, wah, wah, that thing. Does it remind you at all of tone music from Dexter? I have to yeah. go back Dexter and music's to it. like, but also, I can't even remember it. But also, there's tone music in Stargate that Dexter reminds me of. Yeah. So it's like another level. Gotcha. <laughs> so every time I hear Ventress thing, I think of Dexter, and I've never, I only have been on a, in a Ventress episode for a very long time. So. It just popped into my head, and you guys, having almost finished Dexter at this point, I was wondering if you yeah. heard it all. Anyway, uh, that's about all I got. I mean, obviously, this is not over. Nope. Um, uh, there, there was one small shot on the train where they uh, there's like a map of where the train goes, and they had all of these train stations, and uh, they pretty much, they, they straight up like just put in Arabesh, like, you know, Sunset Boulevard, like, L.A. to San Francisco, where Skywalker Ranch is, just all the major ways to get there. Hmm. So directions? Yeah, so it's directions to get from, like, L.A. to San Francisco uh, at Lucas Ranch. Nice. And there's stuff like Lucasville, Filoniville, you know? So there's <laughs> little tiny things where, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm right, you know? <laughs> Do you ever see that? I can't... What movie was it where, like, that you can clearly see a page, but it... It's written in like really like uh, flowery English lettering. Yeah. But it says like I can't believe I got a film degree and I'm wasting my time writing bullshit on this page to make it look like there's writing on this fucking page. I can't uh, remember what movie it is, but I never heard of that. It reminds me of that a little bit. All right. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm excited to see what happens next. Uh, yep. I really like the fight in this. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think the fight was really good. There was a lot of environmental stuff. It reminded Which me one? The, the final fight. Yeah. It reminded With, me a lot of the fight in Spider-Man against the Green Goblin in the first ooh, movie. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the fire starts happening. And going through the walls and yep. stuff. Yeah. I can definitely see that. Get that. And there's some ADVR, 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 ADVR advent in there as well with um, the lightsaber through the pillar. Yeah. I, I like the use True. of like... I the, love uh, that reference. Like the location, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. The environment being used, the barrels being knocked over, the steam and then the explosive barrels and all that kind of stuff, too. Like, just lots of different things happening rather than just... Yeah, because they're not just sword fighters. They're yeah. wizards Yeah, with lots swords. Of, I can see the future. Lots of times it's just, like, you'll just get a lightsaber fight, but this yeah. time, like, there's, like, there's levels are going up and down and there's things in the way. And it, If it just, is Barriss, I'm surprised she wouldn't recognize her fighting style. Hmm. Because they seem to have worked together a few times. Yeah. She's worked together in, like, investigations and stuff, No, right? they were trapped in that tank. Like, they They're, fought together before. They fought there in Geonosis. They were together during the uh, the weird bug, like, zombie stuff. Yeah. You know, they were together during that on the ship. I guess so. You know, there's been different but things. But by that same token, she has fought with Asajj much more frequently. And she should recognize that it's not. Exactly. Unless she is being trained by... Uh, Dooku. Maybe. Because then... To like the similar style. Maybe. I don't know. 
whoever it is is using lightsabers they don't usually use, right? Because they took Stole them directly from Ventress. So mm -hmm. maybe that can help mask any kind of presence or recognition. But possible. Yeah. And also, like the first thing I would have noticed if I was Ahsoka is she's not gloating. She's not talking to me. Every other fight, she's like gloating. Oh, like, Ventress. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, like, oh, little pet. What the fuck are you doing? You're trying to kill me. Talk to me. <laughs> she usually gloats unless she's fighting Obi-Wan, in which case she, she has flirts. to concentrate. Yeah. She flirts a lot, and he flirts back. Yeah. But he's dealing with stuff right now, so no flirting from Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I did like uh, whenever okay. she was like, Ventress, why are you doing this? Whatever. And you had like hiding behind the pillar, and they used like the, the force to yeah. wiggle the very pilot, Alec Guinness. You know? <laughs> like, oh, what was that? But that you actually heard it, like the, the yeah, thing, that's you know? nothing. Yeah, it was cool. I like that. Like I they like need that. to have that kind of stuff in like Fallen Order and whatnot, you know? Like, like, you, like instead of throwing a rock to distract, you like wiggle some crates. Yeah, like dude, yeah. What's that? And while I understand that uh, the the first fight scene with Ventress and Ahsoka, like they're trying to show that hey, Ventress will work with you and not kill these people. There's zero way they don't all just shoot. They're stunned at the same time. Oh, yeah. Both of them. Yep. <laughs> Even if they knock each other out. At the very end of that fight scene, one guy's like, fuck this gun, and this <laughs> hit her. Well, and they had no idea they were there until they were literally three feet yeah. from them. So just shoot them. Yeah. 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 What can you do? And they were, like, holding their guns on them. Like, no. Well, we're taking you in. <laughs> the first time might have been a bit of, like, Wolf has some you know, experience with her. It's like, Commander, we're taking you in, you know, like, it was talking. And then it goes into what it goes into. Yeah. The next time he sees her, he's, next like, time he's, yeah. he's like, yeah. hey, I, I tried the other way before. You know, I'm not doing that shit again. Just, Maybe our expectations are just too high. It's not like the clones are designed to kill the Jedi or something. True. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe so that you guys don't miss out on future episodes of The Clone Wars because we've got more to go through. And if you don't want to wait until next week, make sure you check out Early Access available over at patreon.com slash blindwave, as well as full length available for this episode and all the other episodes of The Clone Wars. Links in the description below.